everything on this channel is either delicious, nutritious, or both. Today I'm making a wonderful soup for you. It's actually not vegan, but I've veganized it. It's a garlic soup, usually made with lots of cream and butter and tons of garlic and wine. And I decided to turn this into an immune boosting soup, adding some shiitake mushrooms to the mix. We're all um, in Corona times and we have to watch out for our immune system and the soup is heartwarming and mind-blowing. So let's get to the ingredients. And the ingredients for our immune boosting soup are, first of all, shiitake mushrooms, lots and lots of garlic, because this is actually originally a garlic soup. I think it's about 12 cloves of garlic in here and uh, two shallots. Then uh, some potatoes. Uh, weirdly, I'm using cold uh, cooked potatoes. I had them left over and I figured why not use the resistant starch. They've rested over 12 hours, so I will profit from that. And then some broth, vegetable broth. And um, instead of cream, I'm trying to go with this rice uh, cream. Um, it does taste awfully like sunflower seeds so I'm trying to see as we go along if it's going to spoil the flavor but just by adding a little bit at a time uh, you can of course use dairy cream if you don't want to keep this vegan and then I'm using some white wine here it would be ideal to use some noyi pra or something like that but I don't have it oh and I just figured out that there's a shriveling thyme tree quote in my kitchen so the thyme definitely goes really well with the um, mushrooms and the garlic, so we're going to add a bit of that later. So I'm starting off the soup by frying the onions and garlic. And my beautiful new Le Creuset, I have two of those in Caribbean blue, doesn't that sound amazing if we can't travel already? Now this pot doesn't like to be shocked with high heat, it wants to slowly warm up. Now I'm adding in my mushrooms. This uh, pot is really not ideal for frying things, but it's good for um, simmering things. So you can't have this on too high, otherwise it's going to stick. So now that my mushrooms are fried off and bubbling away, I'm going to deglaze with the white wine, a generous amount. See the brown bits are coming off the bottom of the pot now, that's what we want. Cook it out a little bit and then we will add the steaming hot vegetable broth which I've prepared in the meantime. Oh, these flavors are wonderful, excuse my fan here, adding the potatoes now. Everything's going to be pureed in the end anyway. So don't worry about the optics now. And it's time to add the broth. One liter to be exact, mixed with four heaped tablespoons of vegetable bouillon powder. I'm adding some of the thyme already. Just have to be careful not to get the stems out. Now, this is what the soup looks like. Now, don't worry, I've cooked it for about an hour. I never drink alcohol, I just 
really use it or abuse it for my cooking purposes to give food flavor. Now this already smells unbelievable. Um, I'm going to puree it now but before I'm going to take out some of the shiitake just to have them float on top later. It might look prettier, okay? Now what I've done is just add a touch of lemon juice to the soup and now I've ladled it into my bowls and just added this rice cream on top. I decided against mixing it in and garnished it with these a few shiitake that I reserved and a bit of parsley. And this is really not just immune boosting but heartwarming and mind-blowing. And this was today's episode with the immune boosting garlic shiitake soup. Let me try now. Mmm. Delicious. Mm. Really, you don't need to add any artificial plant-based cream at all. Let the garlic do the magic and see you next time on Veggielicious. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and recommend me 